Shiba Inu coin certainly has an interesting past. And one of the past stories that was massive back in 2021 has to do with the Ethereum founder, and that is Vitalik Buterin. Now, Vitalik Buterin, whether he asked for it or not, and it looks as if he didn't, he became a big holder of Shiba Inu. And we're going to revisit some of those things that happened back in 2021. But recently, Vitalik spoke about SHIB and spoke about meme coins in a recent interview. And this could be bullish for Shiba Inu coin, especially if these narratives continue to surface as more and more money comes rushing into these markets as we get closer to seeing that blow off top in this bull cycle that we're currently in. Of course, we have the Bitcoin having right around the corner. Usually altcoin season, meme coin season, which we're kind of experiencing right now, but hopefully this is the prelude to the bigger one. Usually it happens after the halving, right? Where we have a lot of capital flowing in uh, into altcoins, meme coins, et cetera. So we'll take you inside this article. And I think it was interesting just to kind of get the perspective here of the Ethereum founder of Italic and his, uh, you know, kind of take on SHIB, et cetera. Uh, very, very interesting, you know, how this whole story started and what was said recently. We'll get to that as well in this video. Uh, but recently, the Ethereum founder, Buterin, admitted that SHIB massively outperformed his earlier expectations for the project. He disclosed this while reacting to a statement from Nathan Young. Now, Nathan Young is a web designer and director at Frostwork. Young spotlighted the crypto assets held by Future of Life Institute, which is FLI, a nonprofit uh, profit focused on AI research, noting that he never believed the organization's crypto balance amounted to much. But little did he know that when Vitalik Buterin got his donation from Shiba Inu's founder, Ryoshi, well, Buterin decided to burn $410 trillion of his tokens, but he sent the rest to nonprofits in May of 2021. And it just so happens that one of the nonprofits was FLI, Future of Life Institute. Nathan Young had believed that SHIB tokens received by FLI were valued at low prices. But information from a filing revealed that their worth actually amounted to $665 million, guys. And it's crazy because Buterin was like many of us, right? Except the people who really had high conviction like us back in 2021, many people said SHIB would die on the vine. Many people said that, yeah, that was a flash in the pan. That was fun. That was exciting. That was cool. But what's going to happen when the bear market hits? Will Shiba Inu be able to survive? Will it be able to continue into a next cycle? And we heard from all of the Bitcoin maxis. We heard from all of the people that were shouting from the mountaintops, get out of your meme coins. They're not going to be here. And now we look and see what? Dogecoin and SHIB are top 15 cryptos. They have been throughout the bear market. Sure, they've wavered a little bit like the rest of the market has. But Buterin noted that FLI case is similar to what he observed with Crypto Relief, an Indian charity. It bears mentioning that Buterin also donated his SHIB tokens to Crypto Relief. He sent 50.6 trillion SHIB to Crypto Relief back in May of 2021. The worth of these tokens at the time stood at $1.2 billion. Interestingly, in his last disclosure, latest disclosure, Buterin revealed that he initially believed Shiba Inu would crash shortly after he received the tokens from Ryoshi. Uh, it's, it, it's, it's the same situation he said as with Crypto Relief. I quickly sent a pile of SHIB thinking it would uh, surely drop 100x in a few days. So I had to act fast and expecting they would be able to cash out at most like 10 to 25 mil. But of course, SHIB massively outperformed my expectations. SHIB had already recorded a massive price rally before Bruderin donated the tokens. And then obviously what happened is history. I mean, SHIB went insane. He said, but of course, SHIB massively outperformed my expectations. Calling attention to how the project defied the odds, pointing to the eventual, to its eventual failure. Failure. Many people thought it would fail. Three years later, here we are. SHIB still retains relevance, a lot of relevance, battling to seal its spot among the top 10 of all cryptos. SHIB's worth did drop 30% shortly after Buterin's donation to Crypto Relief. The token bounced back, though. At the all-time high in October 2021, the assets were worth $4.42 billion. If the charity organization had held onto the tokens until now, they'd still hold $1.57 billion. Vitalik Buterin 
has consistently underestimated the meme coin market. But I think stories like this, it's going to be interesting, right? Because stories like this, maybe people like Vitalik and others won't underestimate meme coins as much. Maybe their voices will be louder in this bull cycle. And it'll be interesting to see what happens next when SHIB goes after all-time highs, what the narrative is from people like Vitalik. Nonetheless, this was one of the coolest stories that happened in my first few months on YouTube in crypto. We covered this quite a bit. It was awesome to kind of revisit this and also speculate on what's next. What's going to happen in this current cycle that we're in? What are the narratives? What are big prominent figures going to say this go around? I get the sense that people who pushed meme coins to the side back in the day in 2021 are definitely open, opening their minds and opening their eyes and ears to the possibility that this sector is for real and it's not going anywhere. And I think that's why we're seeing the meme coin rallies that we are seeing. And if this is just scratching the surface, imagine what we're going to see after the Bitcoin halving as we roll later into 2024 and into 2025. We could be gearing up for a parabolic push unlike anything we've ever seen. Appreciate you guys. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe down below for more content like this. We'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out.